In last video, we discussed about the Rahu Ketu transits into the sign of Gemini and Sagittarius for 2019 for next 18 months. In this video, we are going to talk about a very important concept in Vedic astrology, which is known as a Gandanta. What is Gandanta point in Vedic astrology? If you want to know more about it, keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I am your host Prasad Mahazani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. You will be getting Vedic Astrological videos just like this one. And these videos will help you go further faster into Vedic Astrological studies. If you are not following me on Instagram, this is my ID. Go follow me on Instagram. And if you have any questions, add me on Instagram. If you are looking for readings and consultation, check out the link into the description section. Go for the complete horoscope analysis wherein I will take you through your horoscope in detail. It will help you go further faster into Vedic Astrology and to understand yourself. What is Gandanta point in Vedic Astrology? Ganda literally means a knot. Gandanta is made up of two words, Ganda and Anta. The word Ganda means a knot. And Anta literally means to end something. And when we, when we and how we can end the knot, we can entangle it. We can resolve that knot. We can entangle that knot. Okay. So Gandanta is entangling of the knot. And what is this knot? This is a karmic knot. We will be talking about this more. In this video but why am I talking about this today you guys you guys know that Jupiter is moving into the sign of Sagittarius what does that mean Jupiter is moving from into the Gandanta point Jupiter is moving from the last few degrees of the Scorpio into the first few degrees of the Sagittarius so wherever you have the signs of Jupiter in your horoscope you will feel the transformation you will feel the change this transit is not the usual transit from say uh, Virgo to Libra or from Taurus to Sagittarius excuse me from Taurus to Gemini this is very specific because this is a transformation of a Jupiter the most benefic planet from the water element sign into the fire element sign the fire is life and Jupiter is the most benefic planet so you will feel the difference you will feel the transformation wherever you have the signs of Jupiter in your horoscope so this is a karmic knot and this is the entangling of the karmic knot it is the end of that karmic knot and when it is the end of the karmic knot it is the time for the transformation how many times we have seen people who are millionaire have become spiritual who have all the riches in the world have become the spiritual seekers when it is the time for your transformation you will leave everything and will go for it okay we have seen this in the case of many many public figures as well what is Gandanta okay Gandanta is a transformation from water to fire fire is life okay fire is the new beginning and water is the dissolution point water is a point of dissolution where everything gets dissolved that's why the 12th house of your horoscope is signified by Pisces sign which is ruled by the water element and the Aries is ruled by the fire element if you observe all the water element signs have a fire sign next to them we have three water element signs 4 8 and 12 fourth is cancer then Scorpio and Pisces these are the three water element signs and if you observe 
the sign next to the water element sign is a fire element sign. We have Aries just after the sign of Pisces. We have the sign of Leo just after the sign of Cancer. We have the sign of Sagittarius just after the sign of Scorpio. So after each water element sign, we have a fire element sign. So after the sign 4, 8, 12, after this trine, we have a trine of 159. And this trine of 159 is a fire element trine. Okay. So when we have planets into the last few degrees of water element, excuse me, when we have planets into the last few degrees of the water element signs, or the first few degrees of the fire element sign, that is the Gandanta point. That is the highly karmic and a transformative Gandanta point. If you have more planets into the Gandanta point, you will always think that you have to do something big in life. You will always feel you have, you might have everything in life, but you always feel that you have to do something big in you have to do something big in life. And these people usually do. Okay. If you have Jupiter into the Gandanta, if you have the Venus into the Gandanta, if you have Moon, Rahu into the Gandanta point, they tend to really make people think big. Let us discuss the exact points. Okay. So we have three nakshatras into the water element sign and the three nakshatras into the fire element sign. So in Revati we have, excuse me, in Pisces we have the Revati nakshatra and in Aries we have the Ashwini nakshatra. We have uh, Revati nakshatra and the Ashwini nakshatra. In Cancer we have the Ashlesha nakshatra, the last nakshatra into the Cancer and the Magha nakshatra the first nakshatra into the sign of Leo. In Scorpio, the last nakshatra is the Jeshtha nakshatra. And in Sagittarius, the first nakshatra is the Mula nakshatra. Okay. So these six nakshatras are the transformating forces. They bring in transformations. If you have powerful planets in this uh, nakshatra, tend to make you think differently. Now let's go to the next level. We talked about Rashi. We talked about Nakshatra. Each Nakshatra has four Padas. So in Revati, the fourth Pada, the fourth Pada of the Revati and the first Pada of the Ashwini is what the Gandanta point is. For Cancer and Leo, the last degrees of the Ashlesha the last pada of the Ashlesha and the first pada of the Magha Nakshatra is the Gandanta point. If you have any planets in between this, it will be a it will be a Gandanta point for that planet. The next thing is in Scorpio, you have the last pada of the Jeshtha Nakshatra and the first pada of the Mula Nakshatra. Okay. So basically the last three and three degrees and 20 minutes of water element sign, that is the last pada of the last nakshatra for water element sign and the first pada of the fire element sign is the Gandanta point. And if you have your sensitive planets and sensitive houses into the Gandanta area, it will bring in the biggest transformations in your life. What do I mean by that? Suppose you have moon in the Gandanta portion. Suppose you have moon into the Revati in the fourth charan, into the last charan, the last pada, in the last few degrees of the Revati. So what you will think is you, you will start thinking about something big in life, something different in life. You may be having everything in life, yet you will start thinking about the life differently and more so spiritually. The points 
the gandanta points triggers the transformation these are very powerful points and the location of these points in your horoscope signifies the area of your transformation okay the first thing which decides is the planet in the gandanta the next thing is if you have important houses into the gandanta area suppose you have ascendant into the last degrees of the cancer last few degrees of the cancer or the first few degrees of the leo it is the gandanta point and now you have the most important point in your horoscope ascendant in the this gandanta point so now you have the most powerful the kendra house the dharma house the first house the fire element house into your gandanta point this this can be the strongest influence you can have for the gandanta let us summarize what is gandanta point ganda okay ganda anta is made up of two words gandanta literally means the end of the knot the end of the karmic knot is gandanta and it has three specific points in your horoscope these points are the points of end degrees of the water element signs and the first few degrees of the fire element sign the transformation of water into the life that is fire okay so this experience can be intense and you might feel it negative but it is not it is going to make your life better and so when you have these okay so gandanta is gandanta literally means the end of the knot ganda is not anta is end gandanta is entangling of the knot entangling of the karmic knot so when you have planets into the last few degrees last 3 degrees of the uh water element sign and the first few degrees of the fire element sign the planet is set to be into the gandanta point okay we have three water element signs followed by three fire element signs so the transition point for these planets transition points for these rashis is the gandanta point we also have the nakshatras around this the water element has three nakshatras ashlesha jeshtha and revati and for fire element sign we have three nakshatras ashwini magha and mula okay and mula nakshatra so yes this was gandanta point as much as i could hold grasp and share with you guys if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing hit that like button subscribe if you aren't already and sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibrations see you in the next videos love and peace